What's going on you guys? So welcome back to my channel. I'm a little loud right now, so I'm in quarantine and I have roommates. And so we're gonna go into the bathroom actually, because this place is so small. Look at this. Ready? Watch this, watch this, ready? One, two, three, four. Nine, those are baby steps too, and this is the door. So it's a super small space. So with that small space, we're gonna go jump into the bathroom. Let's quickly do this. All right, so now we're here, we're gonna kind of speak up a little bit. So as y'all saw by the title of the video, man, we are going to be talking about the top five tips, tricks, hacks, whatever you want to call it, for boot camp. Now, I'm gonna specifically be talking about Navy boot camp. First tip, they're gonna tell you this the day you get there. Be where you're supposed to be and be on time. It's a very, very big thing. Parched, so I'm gonna drink some water. Being where you're supposed to be on time, huge, okay? Now, here's my own personal advice. Practice that before you go, before you get to boot camp. Practice being where you're supposed to be. Like if you meet up with your friends and you're like, yo, let's go meet up at the park and let's go shoot some hoops. Or hey, let's go shopping at this time. Don't be late. Matter of fact, be 10 minutes early. My football coach always told me, Five minutes early is on time, on time is late. So just practice that whole, you know, you make plans, you're there, you're supposed to be there. You know, none of that last minute bailing, all that stuff, no. Be where you're supposed to be, practice that before you go. That's number one. Number two, right? This is a big one for me, okay? Commitment. E, this is what, the reason why I say commitment is a big thing is because, as a lot of you guys know, you know, there's stories and rumors and all that stuff of people basically getting separated or kicked out week one of boot camp. Division started off with about, I think it was 120 people. We graduated with 55. And we had people from other divisions ahead of us get sent back and come into our division. So out of the people that were originally with us from day one of boot camp, we had, I think it was like 20 some people. So look at that, it's like a hundred and some people that go and everybody is like, yeah, let's do this. But there are these people that are just not committed to it, right? Not ready for this. And so you need, you need to be committed. Now, again, take that into just your everyday life, okay? Commit to something. Put a goal towards doing something and do it. Ask right, so number three. This is another big one, stand out. I know a lot of other YouTubers and a lot of other people may tell you, hey, you know, just keep your head down, just do your thing, man. Just, you know, skate by, do all that stuff. No, don't, don't do it, don't do it, okay? And here's why. I went in with that same mentality. I listened to, I forget who it was, but somebody had told me, like, you know, just keep your head down, just stay chill, just get through it, and then when you're done, you're done, you know? I was like, cool, sounds good. Didn't go that, it didn't go that way for me. The day I showed up, literally day one, because they have all these different positions in the, the recruit chain of command because there's a recruit chain of command and then there's the, the RDCs and like the actual, the active duty members that are gonna be in charge of your, all, the, all your drone instructors and stuff. So the recruit chain of command, I immediately got put to MA. First day, day one, they're like, you know, we're all lined up and they're picking out people and I was, in, I was one of the first people they picked out. And they picked me to go be MA for our division. It wasn't a big thing, I had no idea what I was doing. They, they, he even asked me, you know, was, uh, he was EM1, EM1 at the time, but so Petty Officer First Class, and he was like, he was like hey, crew, do you, know, do you know what to do here? I'm like, you know, I'm scared shitless. I'm just like, no, Petty Officer. And then he's like, he's like, and he told me what to do, and he was just like, you need to make, you're the police, you're the police of the division. So, you know, if a rule gets put out or if something needs to get done, you have to make sure that it gets done, you're part of that thing. Um, that was my first thing. Didn't, I never had a chance to stand out. Two days later, I get put to basically the, the leader of the division, which was our A lot of people hated me at first. By the end of the time, we were all, we all loved each other, man. They all knew that I was just taking it seriously, just cause like, there's nothing else to do in boot camp. Um, I was definitely Joe Navy in boot camp, man. And y'all, once you get to the fleet, you don't know what that means and stuff, but. <sighs> yeah, man, so that's, that's three. Number four. This one's pretty simple, man. It's simple, but it's hard to accomplish. Realize that it's temporary. Everything you're going through is temporary. It's not, it's not set in stone. What, what, what you're doing in boot camp is going to end. 
it will end. Two months, and then you're done. Make sure you have that in your head. So for those days that you feel like you're gonna quit, remember, hey, it's temporary. One thing that I personally did in boot camp, every single time I was getting down on myself, I was like, you know what, man? I know there's people that, that finish this, and I know that I'm stronger than them. I know that there's people that don't even deserve to be wearing the uniform. I deserve that. And I went in with this mentality that I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna do this, and I did. That's number four. Tip number five, hack number five, whatever. This is actually for mainly your family, right? This is the best way to get in contact for your family to mail you letters. It's, it, you get letters in like two or three days. And now this is not sponsored by them. I wish it was, that'd be great. It's not, but it's this, this app that your family can download. I've honestly never downloaded it. All I know is that I heard about it in boot camp, told my family about it in one of my letters that took like three weeks to send without it. And when they finally got it, I was getting letters non-stop, man. I was getting a ton of letters from my family, my ex-wife, all that stuff. Yes, I did say ex-wife, and that's a whole other video we'll do later on. But, um, yeah, man, so it's this thing called Sandbox. So Sandbox is basically you download the app, and from my understanding, you put in the address, what you want to say, and you type it out, and they will print out that sheet of paper, put it in a package, and it's set in priority mail. And so you get the ultimate, you send it in about two or three days, you will receive that letter in boot camp. Letters save your life. You can also put images in them, you know, all that stuff. I'm not gonna lie, man, here's a little little secret that I honestly didn't plan on sharing, but I'll share it. In boot camp with my ex-wife, I'm very serious with her, I loved her. Um, I would sleep with uh, the pictures that I would receive um, in my bed as if I was like cuddling with her, I was with her, you know. So I'd fall asleep, I was in my bed, I got made fun of. Um, Cause there was one night where um, I like rolled over too much or whatever, and the pictures fell out on the onto the deck, and one of the the divisional commanders, the RDCs, came in and he was doing little rounds, you know, in the middle of the night, cause I want to make sure that we're all safe and everybody's you know in bed and yeah, all that stuff. He saw the pictures, and the next morning, man, I got I got butt to it out, man. It was funny, I'm not gonna lie, but again, the sandbox. So download that, you know, make sure your family knows about that. That is the best way to get in contact with you. So that is some of the stuff that I would highly, highly suggest to all of you that are about to go to boot camp or thinking about going to boot camp. These are the tips and tricks, hacks, whatever you want to call them, man, that you can take and you can use for your future career in the military. Now, I will be doing more videos while I'm in quarantine. I got a couple more days left and we'll be uploading more videos on tips, tricks, hacks, on all that stuff, just the beginning of the military career. So for all you people that are thinking about joining, going to join, just joined, whatever, man, I got y'all. I'm gonna give you guys some of the best things that I can, I can offer up to y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for the support, man. It means so much to me. Have a good day. Peace.